This is Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, Sammy. The minute I arrived there, it was like just having eye contact with, with people and seeing these big, bright smiles. I immediately was like, where am I? You know, just that such a place existed. And something was calling me to, I, I realized it was a call to become it was who I needed to become in the process. It wasn't even so much about like pushing this away. It was like, I need to go on this exploration and invest in myself. Yes. And yes, when I would be speaking with colleagues, there was a lot of interest. You know, in some ways it was like, wow, you're living a movie. Like, is this possible? It was the thing that many people really want to do. Right, there's this, there's a burn yeah. inside. And for various reasons and, and very legitimate reasons. They have families, they have children, they have mortgages. The micro and the macro have such an interesting relationship. You know, even as I'm having big ideas and big visions about what society might look like, what does this new paradigm look like, I'm having my own journey that's very personal and it's unfolding and there's my healing and there's my expansion and the ways that I'm right. deepening my relationship to myself and the people around me, which is, you know, completely related to what's happening with the collective and what my visions are. How do we set up systems in ways that we are incentivizing the collective good, mm -hmm. that where people are acting in their own best interest and also everyone else's best interest, so that we're not pushing them or requiring or controlling them to behave certain ways or right. using the, you know, the, the stick? You know, how do we use the carrot uh, in the way that we are modeling mm -hmm. communities? You know, one of the big things on my journey that I've you know, kind of felt was this this need for us to reconnect, reconnect to ourselves first and foremost, to really be able to like feel this incredible instrument. We have this incredible navigational instrument, but in many ways society might distract us from it, you know, mm. because when you're really full in your own beingness, it's like you are radiating outward and there's no room for these things to come in and, and, and hurt you when you're fully mm -hmm. like expressing. And I think we, we can see this in different people. Am I choosing me? Like, am I choosing mm -hmm. myself and, and wanting to spend time with myself and, and noticing I was kind of pulling on this person to do that. And each of these things that would come up, I would kind of be able to really look deeply into how do I offer this to myself and be fully embodying this for myself so that in a sense, it doesn't matter as much what he's doing or not doing you know it's i'm not requiring this person to fulfill this yeah this this thing for me and like what if we i don't i don't even like what if we didn't have to eat like just playing with these ideas of you know like a community that's not all about like subsistence and it's not just about like fighting to stay alive but like where we were just in a state of constant exploration and creation and celebration together mm. in and like beauty like beauty everywhere like the beauty of nature the beauty of like truly seeing with the eyes of the heart seeing each other and seeing this world and seeing ourselves with love this is our time to rise